Hello again, um, I'm James Champion. I'm uh, here to tell you the next section of my journey to India in 2006 in the footsteps of my grandfather, F.W. Champion. Um, now, the original plan, as you will have probably seen in, uh, in the previous uh, section, I trekked to uh, the Pindari Glacier. And the original plan was that my father, at the age of 78, would uh, join me. Um, and it would have been a 70th anniversary uh, journey for him, but due to uh, some health problems, he was advised not to do that. However, he and my mother and my cousin did come out to join me as soon as I'd finished that trek, and we visited a number of places that my father had remembered from his childhood. And uh, uh, it was a very emotional experience, I think, for him to, uh, to revisit these places uh, which he'd known as a, as a young child. Now, here we can see a picture of my father on the left, my mother in the middle, and my cousin sitting on the right. Um, here we're in a place called Musuri, in a, in a wonderful house, which was actually an old uh, British-style uh, house up in the Himalayas. Um, everybody looks very happy in this particular picture. And in the next picture, we are also still very happy. Here we've been very kindly invited uh, by uh, Brijendra Singh, the uh, honorary director of the Corbett National Park, to uh, visit him and his wife in their beautiful home uh, in Missouri. However, our happiness uh, was rather short-lived because shortly afterwards we must have eaten something uh, uh, rather unpleasant and we all three of us, uh, myself, my father and my mother, fell deeply uh, sick. Um, my cousin didn't. Whatever it was that we ate, she, uh, she did not uh, uh, eat and uh, we had to get the doctor in. He arrived with an enormous syringe. My mother, my father and I had spent the whole night uh, competing for the toilet and uh, we were really in a most dreadful state. But uh, the doctor arrived and he uh, had this enormous syringe in his uh, hand. My mother took one look at the needle and said, oh strange, I seem to be feeling much better. Um, I also said uh, the same thing, and uh, neither she nor I uh, dared to have the injection. My father did. He disappeared into the uh, bedroom with, uh, with the doctor. There was a long silence, and then there was a terrible squeak. And uh, he finally, the doctor came back out again, and he had the uh, syringe and the needle in his hand, but the needle was bent. And I was most alarmed at this, and I said, what on earth have you done to, uh, to my father? And he said, oh, don't worry, I always uh, bend the needle so that it's not used again. Now, unfortunately, of course, uh, this uh, injection worked, so my father was insufferable after that uh, um, because he was uh, cured and we were not. But anyway, that's the, the way it went. Um, now, this all took place in Mussoorie, and you can see that here in this picture. It's a, a hill station in the Himalayas. You can see it along that ridge there, and uh, it really is a most marvellous place. But unfortunately, we were so ill, we didn't have time to really appreciate its beauties, and we'll have to go back there another time in the future. Now, from there, we moved on to uh, Lansdowne, which is the headquarters of the Garoual Rifles uh, Regiment, or the Royal Garoual Rifles, as they were in those days. And um, Lansdowne is also the place where my father was born, so it was particularly important for us to, uh, to go back there. Now, the reason my, why my father was born particularly in Lansdowne is that his grandfather, um, the father of his mother, um, was uh, colonel of the regiment in the uh, Garoual Rifles Regiment and uh, so uh, he was obviously uh, uh, living in Lansdowne at the time. Now here is a very interesting picture of the officers mess of the Garoual Rifles taken in 1894 and uh, you'll be surprised to see that exactly the same room still exists. Obviously some of the tables have been moved around but the trophies are basically the same on the walls and uh, Everything is maintained in an absolutely immaculate condition. Here you can see a picture of the officer's mess from the outside um, uh, with my father approaching it. Now my father's very conscious of uh, his uh, family's military links and military history and uh, particularly his links with that regiment and uh, it was a deeply emotional thing for him to go back to, uh, to visit that, uh, that regiment. Now in the evening there was a sort of cocktail party for uh, um, us uh, organized by the regiment and here we can see um, my father presenting a photograph of his grandfather to uh, the regiment and up in the top left hand corner above me you can see me in the background there you can also see a painting of my uh, great grandfather uh, Keith Stewart uh, looking down from the wall and here we can actually see him looking down 
from the wall uh, in this painting. Now there was also a military band playing for us, which was uh, a very emotional thing also for my father. And uh, at the very back there, above the band, there's a small bust of Buddha, which had been donated to the regiment by uh, my father's uh, grandfather. So that was also a most wonderful experience. And there were some press photographers and so on there uh, to take pictures of us. Now my father, as I mentioned, had been born in Lansdowne. His father, F.W. Champion, was the forest officer of that particular uh, uh, district. And uh, he and uh, my grandmother lived there when they were first married in 1923. And uh, my father was born there in 1928. Now this is the house in which my father was born. So while we were with the regiment, we asked uh, people if they could tell us whether this house still existed. And they said, oh, don't worry, we, we, we can always find uh, anything we look for. And sure enough, the following morning, we were taken to precisely the house in which my father had been born. If you actually look in the foreground on the right, you can see where the flower beds had been. Um, and if we go back to the previous picture, you can see the flower beds. Now this house is still uh, occupied by the divisional forest officer of the Lansdowne uh, district. And uh, we were very uh, uh, honoured to be invited inside the house. And here you can see a picture of me with my laptop showing the wife and the daughter of the, uh, of the then forest officer who, was, uh, who were living in that house. And you can see my father um, sitting in the background feeling very emotional because this was the house in which he was born. And here we can see he, him and my mother standing on the veranda outside. Uh, outside the house that he was born. He hadn't been back there probably for 74 years. And here we can see a picture of the, uh, of the whole group, my father sitting on a sort of throne in the, uh, in the middle there, and uh, the current forest officer standing just uh, above his left uh, shoulder, and his wife and uh, the son uh, sitting on the arm of the chair on which my father is sitting. Now that's the end of part four. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to uh, seeing you uh, for part five.